What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So the first thing I'm going to share with you know, people. Wounded man reveals location of gun after shootout robbery attempt. A 20 year old man is now awaiting his court date after a file robbery attempt and reported shootout with the police in Comfort District Manchester on New Year's Eve. The man him named Tyree Smile. A construction worker of Art East District in Manchester. He is facing charges of assault with intent to rob assault command law, non fatal shooting of male suspect and unauthorized possession of a firearm and ammunition. Reports from the police are that about 3.45 p.m. Smile and a man drove to a minimart in the Comfort District when an argument developed with another man. The police said a tussle ensued. Lawmen who were on patrol saw what was happening and attempt to intervene. However, they said Smile opened gunfire at them. The 20-year-old and his reported accomplice escaped. The police said soon after they received information that Smile was being treated at the hospital for gunshot injuries. He was reportedly accosted and gave lawmen information on the whereabouts of the firearm. A Glock 17 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 17 rounds was retrieved. He was subsequently arrested and charged the police said his court date is being finalized so people let me know what you guys think in the comment section so we know say everybody and their mother see the video with the woman a beat up with the woman them got more than one of them are some little picnic a beat up a little girl seeing so it's reported that right now five women is in custody for the beating so yesterday them say about three person did get arrested you know what i mean so now it's reported say a five person the police them having a custody right now i'm wish this little girl a speedy recovery because them say she did unconscious you know what i mean and she did in a serious condition in a hospital so i hope say she good you know you know what i mean and she can re get released soon as for them five person away in a custody I hope them get the full extent of the law because nobody did it for say yo, you know what I mean? Talk over this or whatever. You understand? Everybody want to beat the look up at me. And call, look how the pity fine. And look up. You see what I say? A one woman at the end of the video in a one green top and think one green shorts. And she miss it like she ease them off and stand up over the girl and I try to take her up at the end of the video. You see me I say so big up to the woman there we step in and help out the little girl and ease off them hooligans there. You see me? So people leave your comment in the comment section. And we are gonna move on my people. And a man, a Westmoreland farmer, them charge him for murder. You see me I say? Them say Tommy McFarlane, a farmer from Savlamar in Westmoreland, has been arrested and charged with murder after being implicated in a shooting that led to, that left one man dead and another injured. The incident happened about 10.55 p.m. on Saturday, December 30. It is reported that the deceased, a 27-year-old man, and another man were standing along Ricky Street in the parish when a black Toyota Voxy motor car drove up. It is further reported that the occupants of the car, including the accused, opened gunfire on the men, hitting both multiple times. They were rushed to hospital where Wilson was pronounced dead and the other man treated. The following day, McFarlane was apprehended during a target raid and was taken into custody where he was subsequently charged. The 25 year old has also been charged with wounding with intent. His court date is being finalized. So, people, leave your comments in the comment section and we are going to move on, my people, to a teacher with drop out. You see me, I say another St. Elizabeth teacher dies within two weeks. A second St. Elizabeth teacher has died in less than two weeks. The information technology educator at the Roger Clark High School in the parish passed on Tuesday. 
He is 28 year old Damian Campbell from the parish. Our news team understands that he died of natural causes. The school has since issued a statement expressing regret at his passing. Death has robbed us of one of our passionate student centered, jovial, and dedicated teacher. The release read There are no words to express the tremendous grief that, as a school, we are experiencing. He has left an indelible and impactful mark on our school community. We express our deepest, most heartfelt condolences to his loved ones at the Roger Clark High School release added. Jano. So, and I mean RIP to that teacher and condolences to his family. So, I picture these people. And we are going to move on to the next person here, where Dash with himself. You know what I mean? This woman and alive herself is me so teen reportedly found hanging from tree in saint mary 19 year old bartender tamika was reportedly found hanging from a tree near her house on tuesday january 2nd the police have ruled her death a soy side this was her second attempt she had tried before she was seen hanging from a tree and was cut down she did it again today head of the saint mary police division superintendent bobette mark and simpson told our news team according to police reports she was at home on sports road in east linton when she told her mother and stepfather that she was going outside to do laundry her stepfather went in search of her when she failed to return after a few hours. He reportedly discovered her body hanging by a hose from a tree. The police were called and her body was removed. Ongoing speculation suggests that she was facing financial challenges and relationship problems. The East Linton police are investigating. People, that way there is never the right way. You see me I say, me I tell you no. Because enough of the time when I go through some things, I don't me feel like say boy the worst thing when I go through and you know what I mean when I go through the most in the world. You have people who go through more than you. You see me I say, so whatever you go through, find somebody to talk to. You understand? Find somebody and talk to. You don't have to talk to nobody in your community. You can talk to people outside of your community like a Maybe a church, you know what I mean, a pastor, you see me, some, somebody, you understand? Find somebody and can find, you know, somebody you know, say, I'm going to tell back your business. You understand, I mean, I say, get the help you need, you see me? I don't make man stress on out, I don't make woman stress on out. You see me, I say, it's rough when you love somebody and them don't love your back still, but don't make that cause you feel harm yourself. So I picture this with people. So leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. Bless up on yourself. Thanks for watching.